hello everyone and welcome back again dear friends hope you are all doing well and i hope your preparation is going well over there okay so in this video i will discuss the last uh, question of the model fifth that is on the latent square design analyze the variance in the following table latent square of yields in kgs of paddy where a b c d denotes the different methods of cultivation okay this is your table and these are your uh, cultivation codes over here okay so d a c b b c a d like that okay so examine whether the different methods of cultivation have given significantly different is given that f3 is equal to 4.76 later on we will see what is this f ratio over there so as usual whatever you are doing in the two way anova first of all draw the same table as it is okay but in the latent square design what we are doing simply we have to take summation of these numbers okay take the sum of these numbers you will get 488 take the summation of these numbers you will get 494 take the summation of this one you will get 480 take the summation of this much you will get 488 okay then you have to summation you have to do summation of this much okay column so you will get 1950 okay i hope you are getting then the 1950 divided by total number of observations this is your 4 4 cross 4 so 16 is the value so 1950 divided by 16 you will get 121.87 okay so by using coding method uh, approximately take uh, you have to take 120 value just for your uh, simple calculation okay not you don't have to take 121.87 simply take 120 okay so see here subtract 120 i hope it is visible subtract 120 from each element means this 122 minus 120 you will get 2 121 minus 120 you will get 1 123 uh, minus 120 you will get 3 122 minus 120 you will get 2 okay likewise you have to subtract so this is 124 minus 120 is 4 over here 123 minus 120 you will get 3 likewise you will calculate this much i hope you will do this calculation this is simpler one so formulation of this much is the table then you have to take a row wise summation and column wise summation see here 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 2 is 8 4 plus 3 plus 2 is 9 plus 5 is 14 so minus 1 plus 1 will get cancelled you will get 0 3 plus 2 is 5 6 6 and 2 8 then take the squares of these terms so 8 square is 64 14 square is 196 0 square is 0 8 square is 64 now take the summation column wise 2 plus 4 is 6 6 plus 0 is 6 plus 2 8 so 3 plus 1 is 4 minus 1 is 3 3 and sorry 3 plus 3 that will become your 6 then 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 1 is 6 5 plus 2 is 7 8 plus 2 is 10 okay take the summation of these also so 8 8 8s are 64 6 6 are 36 36 and 10 10s are 100 okay this is your table after subtracting 120 from each element okay now take the squares of these numbers so 2 2 square is 4 1 square is 1 and your 2 square is sorry 3 square is 9 and 2 square is 4 okay you have to take down uh, the squares of this much you will get this table right then you have to take summation of this much 16 plus 4 is 20 plus 4 is 24 9 plus 9 is 18 plus 2 is 20 9 plus 4 is 13 plus 1 is 14 so this is your 25 plus 4 29 30 34 take the summation of this much you will get 92 then as usual you have to write down the formulas okay so correction factor is equal to t square by n so t square we have already calculated so where is the t square this one sorry this is your t so t total is here 30 so 14 plus 8 is 22 plus 8 is 30 8 plus 6 is uh, 14 plus 6 is 20 plus 10 is 30 okay so it is balanced so it is the 30 value so 30 upon n n is the total number of observations are 16 so 30 square divided by 16 is equal to 56.25 okay so tss total sum of squares it is given by summation of xij square minus correction factor xij we have calculated here 92 so 92 minus correction factor is 56.25 you will get 35.75 so tss is equal to 35.75 okay up to this i hope it is clear next is your summation row wise okay so it is given by summation of ti square by ni minus cf see here we have calculated the ti squares here 64 divided by 4 total number of varieties okay or simply you can say that total number of rows 1 2 3 4 so you have to take 64 divided by 4 plus 196 divided by 4 i hope 
it is visible so make sure you will comment down if it is visible or not so 196 divided by 4 plus 0 divided by 4 plus 64 divided by 4 okay you will get minus uh, correction factor you will get summation of rows is equal to 24.75 then summation of column wise okay so we have already calculated it it is equal to pi square by ni minus correction factor so pi is how much 64 divided by 4 uh, number of columns uh, yes number of columns plus 36 this one 36 divided by 4 plus 36 divided by 4 plus 100 divided by 4 minus 56.25 ssc is equal to you will get 2.75 i'm just making it fast just because i have already made detailed video on latent square design i hope now you are uh, able to understand this much over here okay then you have to take uh, the table again over here see here this is dacb now you have to take order wise a b c d what is the a value in this one so take one then in the second row a value is two take two and in the third row a value is zero and then in the fourth row a value is two so take two so you have to take all values of a then all values of b starting from the first row itself b is two and in the second case four okay then in the third column b is minus one and in the fourth column b is one over here okay so likewise you have to take c all values uh, starting from the beginning itself okay you will make this table i am sure so then you have to take the summation of this much 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 4 plus 2 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 minus 1 is 6 okay 3 plus 3 is 6 7 9 5 plus 2 is 7 plus 3 is 10 okay then take the squares of these 25 36 81 100 so this is the difference between 2 and and this latent square design where the extra parameter you are using so to find sum of treatments sst is equal to summation of qi square divided by ni so qi we have calculated here square is so 25 divided by number of varieties 1 2 3 4 okay so this is your 25 divided by 4 36 divided by 4 81 divided by 4 100 divided by 4 minus correction factor is 56.25 you will get sst is equal to 4.25 okay then summation of uh, summation of sorry sum of squares due to error is equal to tss minus ssr minus ssc minus sst you will get the values tss already we have calculated here 35.75 minus ssr we have already calculated 24.75 and ssc is 2.75 minus 4.25 you will get by calculating this much you will get sse is equal to 4 okay then last we have to formulate the latent square table over here where it consists of source of variation degree of freedom sum of square means sum of square is f ratio rows columns and treatments between the rows between the columns treatments so degree of freedom is nothing but row minus one so how many rows are there four rows are there so four minus one is three columns are also four four minus one is three treatments are also, also four so four minus one is three this is your degree of freedom and for error it is formula is c minus 1 c minus 2 so columns are 4 minus 1 is 3 and 4 minus 2 is 2 3 into 2 is 6 okay then ss sum of squares we have calculated sr ssr value ssc value and sst value and sse value just to write down here the values whatever we have calculated okay pre, uh, in the previous steps then mss it is equal to this divided by this okay so 24 24.75 divided by 3 is equal to 8.25 then 2.75 divided by 3 is equal to 0 0.91 4.25 divided by 3 is equal to 1.41 okay 4 this is your 4 divided by 6 this is equal to 0 0.66 so f1 ratio it is equal to maximum by minimum so 8.25 divided by this minimum value 0 0.66 then 0 0.91 divided by 0 0.66 1.41 divided by 0 0.66 you, you will get accordingly the f ratio f1 is equal to 12.5 f2 is equal to 1.37 f3 is equal to 2.136 right but in the question it has been shown that uh, whether the different methods of cultivation have given significantly different is given that f3 is equal to 4.76 we are getting f3 as 2.136 so it is obviously less than the 4.76 so you can write down in conclusion our hypothesis is accepted for the f3 case and also f2 is 1.37 it is also less than this value so it is also accepted but this one will be rejected so f1 will be rejected just because value is two more 12.5 is more than 4.76 so this is all about the latent square design i hope you have understood this concept very well so make sure 
you will comment down if you have some doubts also okay so i wish you all the best for your examinations thank you